This is um, something I wrote for Grandpa Kirky. I want to thank you and Grandma for teaching me to be proud of my history, culture, and familia. Thank you, Grandpa, for founding Escuela Tlatelolco, a place filled with teachers and staff who instilled love and pride in all of us. I was six years old and I believed I was an original Mayan. You sent our future teachers to learn how to dance flocorico, and they passed it on to us. Now my child is learning to dance flocorico. Thank you for teaching us respect. Always look someone in the eye when you are talking to them. Always say hello to your elders, aunts, and uncles. What is left now? Memories of building clubhouses with friends and cousins at the Crusade for Justice, performing ballet flocorico and danzante in that big auditorium, remembering Wednesday lunches, which was the day we could have homemade burritos, tacos, or tostadas, and all of the community would come and enjoy our kitchens cooking, even the mailmen. We didn't have a fancy playground. We had a huge wooden pyramid with a big slide. And when we got bored of that, we used our imagination. We sang to Tlaloc and Quetzalcoatl, or reenacted March 17th, except no one wanted to be the cop, and became Adelita or Che or other revolutionaries. Memories of getting in trouble at school and being sent to the principal, our grandmother. Memories of getting in trouble at school and, oh, I'm sorry, the colonias where we often visited because our mom was working for you. We would be sent to say hi to Uncle Bob, and he greeted us with the Hershey bar or would let us make cinnamon toast. Memories of you, Grandpa, pulling our teeth out when they were loose, cracking our necks when we slept wrong, and getting a kick in the butt when we got in trouble. Boy, did those hurt. Memories of you, Grandpa, marches and demonstrations filled with the sea of people, our people. Memories of you and Grandma taking us out to eat at restaurants or the time we went to see Cats, the Broadway play. Memories of, the spen of spending the night and waking up to a full course breakfast in homemade tortillas. You, Grandfather, always strong, bold, and not afraid to speak your mind. I was a competitor, all right, even tried boxing. I learned it from you. After the school closed, we went to public school. How scary that was, especially when they recited the Pledge of Allegiance. What is that, I said to my fellow compadre Little Che. We don't know much about America, but we do know about Atzlan. I also didn't learn Euro-American history until high school. And of course, there you were in our history book, along with Cesar Chavez. Thank you for taking us to Chicano Park in San Diego a place where you were well respected, treated like a hero. It was then and in college that I realized just how famous you were. Thank you for letting us meet so many different people who believed in you. Angela Davis, Stokely Carmichael, Dolores Huerta, people from the Black Berets and Black Panther Party, just to name a few. I will always fight for you, Grandpa, and I will always fight for my familia, physically if necessary. I promise to keep your legacy alive by teaching people your history, our history, cultura, and love for humanism. I remember this. We must learn our own history and culture before we can learn about others. Nationalistic? Maybe a little. Is Atzlan a real place? I believed it to be so. I run across many old Tlatelolco students, and they all have said, your grandfather in Tlatelolco taught me about our history and culture and filled us with an unbreakable pride that is ingrained in our belief system. We have so much pride and self-esteem that it's obvious we did not grow up like others. I am blessed to be in your bloodline and honored to be a Gonzalez. I am proud to say that I am Chicana. I am proud to be who I am. Thank you for teaching me these lifelong lessons. And thank you, Grandma, for showing us commitment, loyalty, and love for our familias. Without you, all of these lessons would not be complete. Rodolfo Corky Gonzalez, presente! Yeah. Yeah.